Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and to my another new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase FPS in your Xenia emulator on your PC. So, let's get started. As you can see on my computer screen, I have Xenia Canary. So, do not use a Xenia Master, use a Xenia Canary instead of Master version Xenia. Guys, I have many solutions of this problem. Uh, how we can increase FPS uh, in Xenia emulator. So, first of all, we need some settings for, for our Xenia emulator from uh, Xenia Canary configuration file. Right click and open with and open with notepad. Okay, and uh, over here, guys, you need to uh, decrease uh, max frames uh, from here. You can see, guys, this one type here five and go to files and save. This is first solution, and second solution is reopen Xenia emulator and scale down go to d3d12 settings over here you can see d3d12 read back resolve so top here false and go to file and save and for more solutions and settings scale down and you can see internal display resolution set it to 16 1 6 and go to file and save and close it if you have windows 10 or 11 or above and right click and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphic settings and remove your old application Xenia uh, emulator so I remove it and I go through browse and select your uh, Xenia emulator application file open it so I click on add option and options and high performance and save and for more solutions and settings for your Xenia emulator to increase FPS on your PC uh, reopen your Xenia emulator and scroll down and search for VSync settings or GPU settings. So you can see GPU. So Vulkan is better than B3 D12. If you have uh, DirectX 12 in your uh, Windows already installed, so I go to my search bar on my Windows and txt iag and press enter and you can see uh, already installed direct x version you can see so i have uh, direct x 12 uh, but you can face uh, low fps issues uh, with direct x 12 in xenia emulator so do not use direct x 12 use Vulkan instead of DirectX 12 so you can see D3 D12 uh, select Vulkan from here and if you want to use Vulkan in your Xenia emulator then make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU device it's very important thing guys if you have older version drivers for your GPU device then uh, you cannot fix the issues go to search bar on your windows and type your device manager so I go to my device manager control panel and I go to my display adapter and if you have uh, multiple GPU devices uh, over here so uh, you can uh, face uh, a lot of issues uh, but I have only one GPU device over here so if you have uh, low GPU device I mean internal GPU then you can disable it like this right click and disable so click on yes but I don't I, I will not disable my this device because I have only one GPU device 
so do not disable more powerful gpu device from here and to check latest drivers for your gpu device already installed so right click and go to properties and go to drivers so you can see driver date and driver version already installed in my pc for my gpu device so i have uh, a latest drivers for my gpu device uh, in 2023 so uh, if you have older version then please update drivers first and if you want to update drivers then right click and update drivers and browse my computer click here and you can see all available drivers uh, already installed for your gpu device so if you don't have uh, latest drivers for your gpu device then you can search latest drivers for your gpu device by cancel it and for more solutions and settings scroll down yeah over here you can see vsync type here false and vsync interval type here 16 and go to file and save and after these settings uh, if you are facing crashing issue then you can change it from here uh, you can use true from here like this but i recommend false if you want to get more fps go to file and save and if you are still facing the issues if you are facing low fps and if you want to increase uh, more fps then scroll down and uh, go to memory option yep over here protect zero tap here false and go to file and save and it's done now close it and uh, if you have already installed latest drivers for your gp device then you need more settings for your gp device from your control panel so i am using nvidia or and uh, amd5 pro so i go to my nvidia control panel because nvidia is my more powerful gpu and first of all go to configure surround and if you have uh, internal gpu then you can select from your cpu and but if you have external gpu then you can choose your device name so i have external gpu this is why i i i choose this one and click on apply and go to image uh, adjust image settings check this option and scroll down and select performance from here check it and apply and go to manage three settings and scroll down and open gel rendering gpu select your gpu device all that is selected and power management mod uh, select maximum performance and texture filtering quality high performance and vertical sync should be on off and click on apply now i close it so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys and if you like it then please subscribe my this channel and thanks for watching bye bye guys